Hello everyone and welcome back to Triangle Strategy. In the last session, we became a member of the Saintly Seven after showing that uh, salt can be found anywhere, potentially. It does not only appear in the source. We have found salt uh, from the Roselle. They gave us their crystal, or well, we sort of stole it. Uh, but yeah, that was enough to make them go, uh-oh, we need to join forces against Esfros because they probably have a source of salt now too, and I think it's probably what they found in the mine. But uh, no confirmation on that, but we will see. Anyway, on to the main story. A missive arrives from Cicrus, alerting Gustadolf to dangers back home. Are you certain it's wise to return to Esfrost alone, Your Grace? You are needed here. If Cicrus's missive is to be believed, I am afraid matters are far too grave to be left to anyone else. Svarog's deception is nearing its climax. His ill-gotten profits are being used to build a weapon of untold destructive power. Our anonymous source from the manufactory hinted at as much. Svarog is bold to have carried out his plan this far. Death Snell? What's that? Let the adult speak, my dear. If we're to be wed, then there should be trust between us. How long do you intend on treating me like a child? Very well. Tell her, Thallus. Oh, okay. She's going to get that info. Okay, okay. If you insist, brother, this weapon combines the powerful explosives developed by Dragan with Esfrost's mastery of steelcraft. Although yet to be tested, this cannon is said to have the power to breach even Hyzon's walls. The goddess's shield would buckle under a single blast. But the shield is impregnable. I have heard nothing of this. Do you think so little of your general? A general is to win me victory as and when I command it. <sighs> Svarog's intent isn't to bring Hyzant to heal, however. He means to use the cannon against Brother. But the fool was so blinded by ambition that he never saw the strings guiding his every deed. Fool that he may be, he served his purpose well. The cannon could not have been made without his engineers and Dragan's research. He will die secure in the knowledge that his bloodline contributed to the glory of Esfrost. Sadly, he shall not live to see his work completed. With it, we shall do what our forebears could not. The goddess's shield shall yield before Esfrost's might and ingenuity. Okay. If we can even approach the walls, brother, the trade embargo will ensure that Hyzant is especially wary of our actions. On the contrary, their focus will turn inward. With not else to leverage their influence with, they will take measures to see that none of their precious salt escapes their borders. There may be some gnashing of teeth, to be sure, but it will only be in an attempt to hide their inner turmoil. Erica, muster of force, and march to the Hierophant's palace at once. Deliver to Hyzant my final demands. As you wish, brother. I shall gather what news I can of the Saintly Seven's machinations. Can we kill her while she's there? <laughs> Thallus, you will remain in Glenbrook. Conduct yourself as if I had never left. You hardly need to ask, brother. That is all. Now go. Even his own flesh and blood are but tools to be used and then discarded when their purpose is served. He has faith only in himself. Such has ever been his way. Come on, Avlora. Swap sides. Swap sides. Come on. Come on. In the still of night completed. She seems primed to fucking betray Gustadolf. Please. Please. I just... Uh, I want it to happen so badly, man. I like Avlora. She's sick as fuck, man. Would love her to join the winning side. <laughs> 
Esfrost and Glenbrook remained strong after declaring a trade stop with Hyzant. Gustadolf sends Erika to Hyzant to deliver his ultimatum, and dispatches an army to Glenbrook to increase the pressure on the Holy State. Can we not just kill Erika Hyzant, when she's there? under the banner of Prince Roland, sends Minister Serenoa Wolfort of the Saintly Seven to prepare for retaliation. Okay. Softly but surely, Norzelia descends into war once more. It, it was already at war. <laughs> it's been at war since chapter four. Chapter 13, part one. Our time has come. That means there's going to be a decision point here, right? If it's a part one, it means that it can go different ways, I think. Just fucking kill her. Oh my god, why we why would we Those are the Archduke's not? wishes. I implore you not to forget that this is his final offer. Come to think of it, I heard that Wolfort was added to your saintly ranks. Where might he be? I'm afraid I cannot answer that. The dealings of the Saintly Seven are our business and ours alone. How disappointing. I had hoped to congratulate him on his promotion. Why would they let her that leave? Wretched woman. Those are hardly wishes. Esfrost all but demands us open the source to restore our diplomatic relations. The duchy fears neither a lack of salt nor the goddess's shield. I can assume they have a plan in mind. Then this was no more than a ploy to stall for time. We had best expedite House Wolford's plans to take the capital. Minister Exheim, send word to Minister Saranoa. I really don't understand why they'd let her leave. Like, Esfrost is taking over the fucking world. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. Bum 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 bum. You wish to lend us Hyzant's new weapon? Yes. It was a directive from the Holy One. The weapon is one Minister Lila develops in secret. It's a Chaos Emerald! I compressed a vast quantity of magic into crystal form. We call this weapon Elfric. Very pretty. The blast crystals have yet to be perfected, but they can decimate a castle wall easily enough. We thank you for your support. Be forewarned that their power makes them unwieldy in an average battle. They are not meant to be used on people. Furthermore, we are only giving you a single blast crystal. Regardless, I am certain it will come in handy while recapturing Whiteholm Castle. Its incomplete nature makes it regrettably tricky to use, but Milo should be able to take care of that for you. Use them both wisely. I am Milo. A dancer by trade. But assistant to the Saintly Seven on occasion. I shall serve you, Minister Saranoa, until we reclaim the capital. You sure cool. you'll be okay? You needn't worry. It isn't my first time flirting with danger. Hmm. A Hyzantian spy? Very likely. The blast of the Elfric should help you catch the enemy unawares. Both my army and Minister Camsells will join in the attack. Oh yeah. I trust command to you, Minister Serpo. Sure. Most certainly. And the crystal will be key in our plan to reclaim Glenbrook. Sick. We're gonna have three armies. That sounds fucking cool. But the question is, how underleveled is it gonna make us? <laughs> Okay, we're not fighting yet. We're not fighting yet. Um, anything over here? No. So we've got two mains, but 
Neither of them are the battle yet, and aside, in Central Esfros, Sikris reports a theft in the archives to Gustadolf. Wub 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 wub! Wub 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 wub! You have made a grave error in allowing thieves to raid the archives, Constable Sikris. Forgive me. My guards gave chase as soon as they noticed intruders, but they'd already fled beyond our reach. What did they take? Luckily, they were unable to gain entry to where we keep our more sensitive texts. All they were able to make off with was a single book penned by the late Lady Olea. Uh-oh. Olea? She left behind a message of sorts? She'd better be passed on to Lady Frederica when she came of age, but it seems those wishes were forgotten. Thalos or Erica must have hidden it from her. They derived no greater pleasure than from tormenting her. Do we know what was written in this book? No. Storage records indicate it was protected by some arcane seal. It must be of some significance. If she would go to such lengths to protect it from prying eyes. Perhaps something to do with the Rosellan liberation, for which she fought so fiercely. Or perhaps it is not but a mother complaining to her daughter of a duchy they both despise. I shall send a party to hunt down the thieves at once. No need. Such ruffians are unlikely to be in the employ of our foe. No doubt they were simply looking to loot us to fill their own purses. It is more important that we dispose of Sparog and finish the Nell with all haste. Dispatch your soldiers there. By your grace. I wonder, I wonder if that is true. Like that they're just people looking to loot or whether they deliberately went for that book. I don't know who it would be. And whether they're gonna bring it to Frederica. Telior Streets. Under secret orders, Huet scouts the Telior domain with Flugi. Flugi Wonderland. Benedict asked me to scout out Teliorn where the Esfrosty soldiers are stationed. But I hardly see any around. Why did he ask me to come here in the first place? I doubt it would matter in reclaiming the capital. But orders are orders. I should report back. Well, that was the shortest main mission ever, unless it goes straight to her reporting in, which it does not. Hmm, weird. Why would... Hmm. Did he want her out of the way for some reason? Hmm. A missive arrives at White Home Castle, informing Thallus and the others of the outcome of Erica's negotiations with Heisen. Ah, tidings from Erica. She says Hyzant refused our final offer. You seem surprised. There was no way Hyzant would agree to open the source. I know that, but the negotiations were meant to buy us time. Yet it seems their soldiers are already on the move. Damn it all! This wasn't supposed to happen. If you play with fire, you get burned. Now we have no recourse but to meet them in battle without the Archduke. So it has come to war then. Motherfucker, hmm. why does everyone we keep saying that war game. is starting? War has started since chapter four. Their newest saint is heading the vanguard. You must be delighted that a former retainer to the crown is coming to visit, right, Cordelia? Enough, Thallus. I won't allow such impudence toward the queen. Queen? This child is nothing more than a puppet. And I believe the impudent one here is you, Avlora. A general has no right telling the prime minister what to do. 
Please, kill I him. had no idea the Prime Minister's job was to torment the weak. Oh, <laughs> fucking Enough, tell him. General of Lore. I will answer the Prime Minister. As the Queen of Glenbrook, I shall protect my kingdom until my dying breath. No matter who may stand against me. It appears your impudence is contagious, of Laura. Your charge knows not how powerless she is. Please, can we kill Thalas? Please. Why not, Your Majesty? I hate him so I much. I shall protect you. Thalas and Erica are the two most hateable people in this game. Have been since the start. Because I am to wed the Archduke. Because you are a warrior. One who does not give up, even if she must fight her battles alone. I was an orphan. I never knew my parents. I entered the army to make a place for myself. So I know better than anyone the pain of having to do everything on your own. Allow me to bear my heart to you as well, General of Laura. As the last heir to the throne of Glenbrook, I do not intend to let Kustudolf have his way. You mean to strike down the Archduke? But I lack the power to do so. Have you heard of the Royalists? The aristocrats who were aid to my father? I have. I also heard they secretly indulged in bribes and the like for personal gain. That man Patriot was cozying up to the Archduke not seconds after King Regna's beheading. Their kind knows no loyalty. Indeed. But Gustadolf has not given any of them a position in his court, so they have fallen on hard times. I want to ask Patriot and the other royalists for their help. Are you mad? No doubt they would wholeheartedly embrace you as their symbol, but only for their own purposes. I understand that, but their years in service to the Crown have earned them great influence in politics. I must have their support if I'm to reclaim Glenbrook. Is it possible for you to rein them in? Not alone. It's interesting that she's being so free with the information she's giving Avlora here, because like... Avlora does seem like she's on the verge of turning, maybe, sometimes, but other times she's just, you know, out there slaughtering at Gustadolf's command. So, like, for Cordelia to just tell her all this, when she is currently still working under Gustadolf, like, Avlora could just fucking annihilate her right here, right now, if she... if she made this play and was wrong about how Avlora feels. But with you, General of Laura, I can. They lack military might. If you accompany me, I could sway them to my cause. Please, General, lend me your strength. As an Esfrosty General, I simply cannot turn a deaf ear to what you have told me. Did you not think I would tell the Archduke of your plans? Of course I did, but I refused to stand idly by as a mere decoration. So if it meant earning your trust, I was willing to show you that I wish to protect Glenbrook by any means necessary. You took a gamble. That's what I just said. <laughs> I had to, for it is not status or reward that moves you. <laughs> so you bet on my honor, and refusal would sully my name forever. However, safeguarding the kingdom comes first. Fighting at your side will have to wait. General of Laura! A word of advice, your majesty. Both Hyzant and the Archduke are veterans of war. The fight will not be an easy one, and may rage on for many years. Even so, I will not falter. I must do this for my father and brothers. An admirable resolve. 
One which I will see fulfilled. Hell yeah! I shall be your sword and shield, my queen. Oh my god, we love to see it. We Thank fucking love to see it. Aura. We fucking adore seeing it. Hell to the yes. Love that. Love that. Oh shit. It's decision time. Okay, wasn't expecting that. I mean, I knew there was one coming because it's a part one, but I did not expect it to just be so soon. Uh, the party decides how to use the new weapon gifted to them by Hyzant. Wub 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 wub. Wub 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 wub. I apologize, but are you suggesting we destroy the dam around Telior Reservoir to start a flood? The capital city was built on the banks of the Norzelia River. Breaking the dam surrounding Lake Telior upstream will allow us to submerge a majority of the city. Flooding the town will throw their army into disarray, which should allow us to take the place by storm. Cool. Lake Telior is a man-made reservoir. You might be able to burst through with a blast crystal. Huet scouted the area earlier and reported seeing very few sentries. Proof enough that this is outside the Archduke's calculations. No. The damage will be too great. The means would not justify the end, Benedict. We cannot afford to lose. I agree with Roland. There is already far too much blood on our hands. Perhaps it's worth speaking with the people and gaining their understanding. Unless we reclaim Glenbrook, it's unlikely they'll understand or support our actions. We must take the capital back and show our strength and resolve first. So that means you stand by Benedict then. If we have a sure shot at winning, we need to take it. No matter the consequences. We can't lose the war. We just can't. Tellior Reservoir is the kingdom's water source. The dam was constructed to protect the people from floods. I doubt they would ever forgive us should we choose to destroy it for war. Glenbrook thrives because of that water. And to use it otherwise is inexcusable. Brute strength isn't the only way to reclaim the city. We can strike at night and defeat their commanding officers. There are ways to slip into the castle unseen. If you have used it before, there is a chance it has been sealed off since. There is more than one route. You needn't worry. So you mean not to use the blast crystal? No, I do. After we sneak in, we can sink Esfrost's warship. Oh? We we'll close off their escape route. Our first priority should be ensuring the people's safety. We cannot allow them to be taken hostage. It would restrict our options as well. She's got a point. But how do we take the capital back after that? We could use the blast crystal to destroy the bridge connecting the town and the castle. The enemies would be stuck within the walls. That would certainly mitigate the damages to the citizens. If we encircle the castle, we could negotiate with them. We could ask them to yield, free Glenbrook, and re-establish the trade between our nations. I am certain we can find a way to make both parties agree. Negotiate? I understand your thoughts and the wishes held therein. Allow me to ask once more. Shall we shatter the dam around Lake Telior and flood the town? Sneak in under the guise of night, sink their ships and slay their commanding officers? Or destroy the bridge, safeguard the people and negotiate with the enemy? A three-way decision, okay. Fetch the scales. It is time we decide our path. That's the first three-way decision. Love a three-way. Who among us does not enjoy a three-way? 
We now have three paths before us, each with its own merits and shortcomings. But which one will lead House Wolfort to victory? Oh god. I've got no fucking idea. <laughs> okay, question. Can we go outside? Are you heading out, my lord? We can. Okay. Okay, <laughs> convictions, sure. I heard that Elfric is still in development and only a few people are privy to its details. According to the rumours, its blast could blow a hole straight through the castle wall. Could we really use such a thing in battle? Elfric is still in development. Are they hoping to use this battle to test its powers? There's a chance we're exposing the people to greater danger than we thought. We must consider its placement very carefully. Okay, interesting, interesting. So... Hmm. If I put it on the bridge, then would that run the risk of it being too close to people? If it was a larger explosion? Lord Serenoa, you've been out and about quite often lately. Is something amiss? I can't help but notice the comings and goings of Hyzant soldiers too. Something about it bodes ill. Boo, 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 boo. Okay, is there really nothing to find in here? I guess not, huh? Bom, 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 bom. Hey there, cutie. Lord Serenoa, I shall accompany you wherever you go. Wait, it doesn't say wherever you go, it says wherever go. <laughs> wherever you go, I think it's meant to say. I'm sure my knowledge of Aelfric will be of great service to you. My lord, how is your father doing? The people are worried. We haven't heard any tidings of his elf for some time now. Uh... Bom bom. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go with that. The previous Archduke and the Saints of Old revered your father, and with good reason. Even the late King Regner trusted Lord Simon deeply and treated him as one would a close friend. I remember the two of them frequenting the tavern in their youth, drinking ale until the morning sun. I had no idea. But you're one of the saintly seven now, Lord Serenoa. I dare say your accomplishments rival those of your father's. I, I think they outstrip them. <laughs> Was Dad on the Saintly Seven? No. <laughs> we look forward to seeing what lies ahead for you. I'm sure Lord Simon would say the same. Thank you. Neither my father nor I could ask for a better people. Roland's Wanted poster. Hello? By order of the Archduke. I, Gustadolf Esfrost, Archduke of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, hereby order the arrest of His Royal Highness Prince Roland of the Kingdom of Glenbrook. The prince is 20 years of age, gold of hair and blue of eye. He has in his possession a ring bearing the insignia of the royal family. Whomsoever captures the prince and delivers him to the duchy officials unharmed will be rewarded with a sum of 100,000. I guess he knows then. Because inside, in the room up there, Roland's got his mask and everything back on, so I thought he only took it off to show the Saintly Seven who he was, and then promptly put it back on and no one else knew. But the fact that there's a wanted poster up for him means that the Archduke no longer thinks he's dead, so I guess word's got out that Roland is alive. But then there wasn't any in the cutscenes, they never mentioned the fact that Roland's alive. My uncle's a soldier, but he's always busy these days. I haven't been able to talk to him at all. Sag. Big Sag. 
Boom, boom. Nothing. Again. Shit. Meow. What are you selling, cuz? Uh, you've got some quality iron. We've got 11k. We should probably just buy the quality shit. What's that? That's 750, right? For all of that. We don't have any stone. Let's get all the stony cells. We're kind of good on iron. I don't know, we, we have a lot of cash. Like, we could just buy it all. Maybe we should. Sarano's convictions have been strengthened for buying out everything. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, don't care about any of the amulet shit. And then it's like recovery pellets. Extra large. A thousand each. Fuck me. Nah, not interested in any of those. Rather keep the cash. After the duchy made their declaration, the holy state stopped shipping salt. Merchants can no longer trade salt in the capital either. Well, that certainly does suck to suck, my dude. Sir? Since the fall of the houses, Forks and Tellior, many other people have fled here to Wolfort. And refugees from the Crown City have also come to live within our domain. It is not uncommon to hear of fights breaking out between them and the people of Wolfort. What should we do, my lord? Uh. I mean, we want to accept people with open arms initially. But if people are fucking, like, starting fights and shit, then obviously we can't allow that to go on. But it, it sounds like the, uh, it sounds like there's no, like, sounds like the other, the only other option is to kick them out. But I don't know if they could get in at Heizan, they probably couldn't, to be honest. Hmm, tough one, tough one. I mean, when you're fucking, if you're being a refugee, the least you can do is not fuck with people, like, that are just minding their own business. So I guess we ask the people, the problematic ones, to leave. As you command, we shall handle the situation at once. Thank you, but please recall that these are our countrymen. They have fallen on hard times, and using force would avail us nothing. Please reassure them that House Wolford is doing all they can to strike down Esfrost and bring peace to the land. Until then, I ask they be patient. Understood, my lord. Leave the issue of the refugees to us. Hey. Can do. My niece came back from the Crown City. She said there are more Esfrosty soldiers than ever now. Did I ask? I don't recall. Man, there's fucking nothing in these houses today. Alright, what about you down here? My reserves are still stocked, but I don't know how long that'll last. 
The duck cheese trade embargo has me worried, to say the least. The soldiers look like they're preparing for something. Is another big battle on the horizon. The Hyzantian soldiers that were bringing relief supplies look like they're readying for war too. Bom, 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 bom. Bum. Oh, there's fucking nothing anywhere. There's fucking nothing anywhere. The scouts we sent to the capital returned not a moment ago. Our preparations are continuing apace, but I worry about sharing the field with the high Zantian troops. Bruh, they're on our side. I'm literally a member of the Saintly Seven. If you've got a problem with Hyzant, you've now got a problem with me. You know? I came here hoping to bring my aunt to live with me in the capital. S. Frost's invasion took me by surprise, but life's been easier since. We can enjoy freedom of trade and no longer have to give offerings to the crown. It seems the people living in the Crown City aren't suffering as much as I thought they'd be. Alright, is that everything? I think that's everything. No, thought I thought I saw an, a thingy there, but it does not appear so. Right, well. It is time to make a decision. I haven't made the decision myself yet, though, is the thing. 